What's up, everybody? My name is Judas St. Clair, and I'm here with the first episode of Retro Recap, where I highlight a game of old and review it and tell you if it's worth checking out or not and where to get it. Um, my first uh, my first one that I'm going to do is, it's uh, as you can see, as you can see here, it's Blake Stone, Aliens of Gold. Uh, Blake Stone is a series of first-person shooter games developed by Jam Productions and published by Apogee Software in the early 1990s. The games were released on Microsoft EOS and are similar in style and gameplay to the popular Wolfenstein 3D and Doom series of games. It consists of only two titles, unfortunately. Uh, Blake Stone, Aliens of Gold in 1993 and Blake Stone, Planet Strike in 1994. The first game in the series, Blake Stone Aliens of Gold, was released in 1993 and features a similar gameplay style to Wolfenstein 3D. Players take on the role of Blake Stone, a special agent tasked with stopping the evil, evil Dr. Pyrus Goldfire from taking over the world. The game featured 60 levels across 6 episodes, with each episode culminating in a boss fight against one of Goldfire's henchmen. So, uh, you know, line them up, knock them down. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty much the gist of it. You, it's pretty straightforward, but it's, it does what it does very well. The game also introduced features such as elevators, key cards, and computer terminals, which added a little bit depth to the gameplay. The second game that came out in the series, Blakestone Planet Strike, was released in 1994 and had improved graphics and gameplay mechanics. The game takes place after the events of the first game, with Blakestone now tasked with stopping Goldfire's plan to launch a missile at Earth. The game featured new weapons and enemies such as new features like jumping, crouching, radar system to locate enemies, just uh, some quality of life updates. The game also features 25 levels across three episodes, with each episode culminating in a boss fight against Goldfire's elite guards. One of the notable aspects of the Blakestone series is its use of humor and parody. The games feature references to popular culture and media such as Star Trek and Monty Python, as well as tongue-in-cheek humor and self-awareness, which honestly is something that I love. I don't know if anybody watching is a fan of uh, the Douglas Adams Hitchhiker's Guide. Oof. That's that's the type of humor that you're that you're going to be getting with uh with Mr. Blake Stone. The series uh, it really sets it apart uh, from other first person shooters of the time just because of the humor and that element. They they didn't have any problem with being silly, and that sometimes is what you need in a game. Um, the Blakestone games were well received upon release and were praised for their graphics, gameplay, and humor. However, they got overshadowed by Doom in 1993, which revolutionized the first-person shooter genre. Um, it, Doom just kind of set a new precedent of, of gameplay, mechanics, everything. Bethesda, Bethesda, Bethesda did, did Doom right. That's, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much the story. After, after Doom came out... It was only, you know, what can top this? What can get better? So a lot, uh, a lot of games like Blake Stone actually fell under the radar uh, after that. So even though Blake Stone didn't achieve the same level of popularity as Doom or other first-person shooters at the time, it still remained a cult classic among fans. And a lot of people really enjoy it in the retro gaming community. The games have been released on modern platforms such as Steam and GOG.com, which is where I got mine. GOG.com, I highly recommend it. Goes on sale a lot. Allowing a new generation of gamers to experience the classic gameplay and humor of the series. The games have also been the subject of fan-made mods and remakes, of which I haven't had any experience in, but... I'm um, I'm I'm very uh, confident in the modding community that if you like the game this much, uh, if you want to try out any of the uh, any of the fan made creations, I'm sure they did it right. Uh, the Blake Stone series of first person shooter games, classic example of retro gaming at its finest. Uh, that's honestly why I picked it. Also because I've been having so much fun playing it. Um, so despite despite not achieving that same that same level as such as Doom and Wolfenstein. They, uh, I, I think it's definitely a retro game that everyone definitely needs to, uh, to try out if you're into it. Um, that being said, some of the, the, the graphics and the controls can be getting used to. I really wanted to stream this game, but there's something with the Microsoft DOS box that it just does not, for some reason I can't capture the gameplay footage of it. I can do an entire screen grab, but it's like a weird workaround, and it just doesn't make sense to do while I'm streaming. 
uh, on Twitch per se. But if there is a way around it, I'm, I might look into it and see if I can get a video of me playing it. But if you're a fan of retro games, um, definitely check it out. Go on GOG Galaxy because it goes on sale there often. I don't think it's more than $10 normally. I got it on sale for like 3 bucks. Uh, so it's a hell of a steal. Mighty good game for the time. 100% uh, recommend. And if you want to see me do any other games besides Blake Stone, um, any retro games that you have in mind that you either want to see me play or highlight on Retro Recap, drop drop a subscribe. Let me know in the comments because all your support is appreciated. And uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Why, why did I say that?